Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. Since last time I have been rather busy. I have completed my Sky Highway. At least all the way back to oil. And you can see it there. It takes forever and ever to drive back and forth. So I thought we should have a better transport system for ourselves. And we do happen to have hyper tubes. So let's just collect the materials for this. We need a bit from up here. So that would be a few of these. We need none of these, these. Oh, inventory is full. Yeah. That's a thing. I actually ended up using two full containers of concrete to make that sky bridge. That took quite a while and used insane amounts of concrete. And I decided to make it too wide because that just seemed a bit, little bit better. I can actually turn the truck while I'm up there with care. I do not want to fall off. But let's just pop all the materials in, see what we're missing. So, copper sheets and pipes. Easy enough. Have the pipes here, so one, two, three stacks. And we need some copper sheets, they are over here. This one, and one, two, and three. And we're good to go. And there's a ghost block there. What's that? Oh, okay. That's the drill just poking down into the ground. Dip, dip, dip. Right. Off we go. Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. I thought this one was going to take off. Apparently not. Apparently not. This one has to be the next goal. But for that we need two new products and one that we can make right now. But, let's see. We need transportation, hypertube. So that's tube and cover. So that's an entrance. I believe you need one in either end. Need more concrete and plates for this one. And I'm definitely going to use these. Right. Well, let's pick up a few materials and just do a short test run. I will not keep you waiting for building the entire thing. That'll just take forever. But let's just get a small peek and see what we actually gotta deal with here. This place over here is going to be a good spot. Right? Yeah, this this will be a decent spot for that. Okay, we will pop you on this page. So we're going to go one, two, and three. That's how we're gonna do that. Right. 
Okay, so that's a ring like that. Right? And... Oh! Okay, it only goes on that side. Well... Then we go there. And from there, I... Let's see, I just... How far can we go with this? Where? Okay, there's a limit to it. But it's pretty far. There. Right. So let's get up there and let's try it out. I believe you do not have to put anything on the other end. To have it working. Ooh, big vacuum cleaner. Is it active? We. I can fly. Ow. Right. Can I go back? Can I? Yes, I can. Um, not so sure about the uh, power. Can I get? I could get on this one. We. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And splat. Wow, that's noisy. Right. Well, that is a nifty transport system. I can see why we have this. And I can see why I need many, many pipes. Hmm. We are going to actually start a transport from over here. It is not a bad spot for it. Um, I still go the wrong way. Hypertube, you will go from there. Yeah, that, that seems like a nice spot. And first off, you will go there, and let's just go in here, and we'll go for logistic, this one, just pop that on as well, and this time we need to pop it this way. Going to put it fairly close to here. This way, the truck will actually. Let's see, we need one more. Wow, flaggy. And we need it to align up. I think it can go there. Let's try it. Yes, it can. And if I then hook up this end to there, 
And let's see, we need this end going from there to there. Vacuum on. And floop. And swoosh. Ah! I like it. Right, let's get it this way then. How far can we go? So, right about there. Now, trouble will be... Oi. So, let's just see how many pipes do I have left? Not many. Well, let me construct a little bit more pipe work. Actually, I want to... Well, I don't have any power there. I need to get up there before I get the power. But then I should actually be able to... Drive back and forth through the pipe. And let's just see, I need concrete and those things and I need pipes, I need loads of stuff. But uh, I just want to get up on the highway and then I think we will cut there. Let's see, we need some pipes, rods, rods I think they're called. of those and probably a few of these right that should rather quick oh wait a minute I need um, sheets copper thingies where are my copper thingies do I have space for that a little bit. There we go. I bet you. Will you see the beginning of this? Let's see if I can't just poke it straight up. That would be much the. Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. Can I poke it over here so we get a straight line? I probably should. Right there. And tube go from there. Wow. Oh. There, please. And your other end will go somewhere else. Do -do -do -do. Let's get up here. Yep. And so it starts. You will be there and will be on top. And you down there. Got stuck in lag. Wow, it really does not like that. Let's see, how much do we have left? 
but that's actually easier just to up here and see I don't have much left ah well I can actually see that I got plenty left right to about there this and that and one of those going back to that one now this area is a little bit dangerous there's a poison plant below and I actually built this one just a teeny tiny bit too low um wow that was a near thing but almost get it the right place never mind I think I got enough to take it up the hill here and then we'll do a cut because watching me build this is very boring but I thought you should see the view from up here once we are done with this no? wow oh. so close So with the sunset, just take a look out here. This is the purple forest. We got our steel area over there. And it's just running along. And yes, I did string a power line all the way out to the oil. But I need to get this one see that's like that and there to there and there to there right back to base we go whoosh now I know this can go a lot faster I saw some we can just eject it straight into another inlet and get a lot more speed but I think this is pretty fast as well wow I just have to be careful I don't step too close well let me finish this one then right now we are back at the oil and let's just see what's actually happening here got a bunch of rubber and this one appears to have stopped and it has stopped because we got heavy oil residue all over right let's pick that up uh, no I can't pick that up so let's just change the recipe to plastic and we void it <laughs> yeah, and we also voided the input, that's not so good, but never mind. So we're getting rubber and plastic. And that reminds me, I did pick up the hard drive from the crash site we had over there. So I put that in my MAM. So let's go back and check on the MAM. Let's enjoy the ride. Look in through the tube. It's a spooky way to ride. And I can sort of twist. I can actually stop and go the other way. 
and stop and back the other way I don't know if I can accelerate I might be able to do that but I'm not sure I did also find a purple slime purple slug down in the water there I got that back in my truck so let's try plugging that one into the research as well See over there is where we came down. Passing straight over the lakes, the the geysers. You can see the down ramp there. And I suspect there's either a lake, ocean or nothing below that. But I just can't see it. But I see plenty of power slots during the night time here. And I do want to go over there and see what's there at some point. I, I'm sure we'll get there. For now though, we are heading back. Almost home. There we are. Right, let's just pick up the power slug while I still remember. There it is. And let's go to the ma'am and see what's going on there. Right, so what do we have here? Alternate blueprint coated iron plates. Um, wow, that's effective. So that's uh, steel to iron rods. Nah, not, not interested in that one. What do we got here? Iron and copper to get iron. I'm thinking this one. Right, let's I need frames and more wires okay I had to dump a bit of inventory over here so let's just see what we got got 30 of those but no wires right well we got those things right over here at the end There we go, and we need wires, and they are conveniently placed right here. And back to the ma'am, and let's research purple power. Dim, dim, dim. House locks. Start research. Two, three. Mm hmm. That's an unknown, unknown. Do, do, well, actually, we could open this one. Let's just take a moment and do some rotors, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Are we using them all here? Yeah, we are. Ah. Well. Then we can't do that. Mycelia the inhaler that one we can do because rotors we got a plenty it's 
and mycelia we got over here and I promptly forgot the last bit what was the last bit reinforced plates I'm getting used to carrying all sorts of things around right let's get this one done medicinal inhaler Well, this one takes five minutes. That's another medicinal inhaler. I think I got uh, the mob parts. Mm. Oh, yeah. I just need more of those uh, frames, I think they're called. So, frames, frames, frames. Ow, power bowl. So, two stacks of you, and let's run off the edge. Whee. Right, alien organism. What have we got down here? That's extra inventory slots. Yeah, I want those. What's this? Rebar gun? I have no idea what that is. This one will give an extra hand slot. Yeah, definitely worth it. What's this? Spiked rebar. Well, whenever this one is done, we'll continue opening that research. For now though, I have transport back to the oil, however, I need a few things here. 100 motors, I got the rubber, I got those, but I don't have the plastic, we are making those. Gas mask, we need 100 plastic, I don't have that. And I don't have these, well, how do we make these? Wow, that is a lot. I somehow think I want to skip this. Although this one is nice. And if I can package this. Yeah, I don't know. It definitely means I need 200 plastic, so... Um, let's just check. Can I make a good buffer or two? Yeah, I can. So we go back and see how much plastic we got. Whoop! I'm here. And I do want to go over there and see what's there at some point. I, I'm sure we'll get there. For now though, we are heading back. Almost home. Right. Let's just see how much plastic we got. Got a hundred something. Well, that's definitely better than nothing, but that's the wrong button. Let's just pop a couple of these.
and then we go seven you and you 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 and this one should start transferring quite fast 300 still maintaining ah there it goes guess that's because this one is now empty and producing plastic only issue is I have to go over the top of this one now I know we needed this and this and this and this and this just empty out this one while we're here and let's just check the production rate it's not fast not gonna get enough for the foreseeable future I need to actually just make do until I can get to the oil power once I get oil power I can set up a big power plant down in this end and really go all out on oil production and fuel and what have we I guess I'll need at least fuel and plastic and rubber I think that's the materials we can get then there'll be some waste products I don't know what we're gonna do with those we might put them into the sink but we'll just have to wait and see and we are just flying along so that's uh, steel to iron rods nah not, not interested in that what, what do we got here iron and copper to get and coming in for a landing and whoop, out we come now let's just have a look I need industrial manufacturing let's just pop all the resources we got so far in and see what we need 100 motors I should have that oh yeah yeah half full on that and I need a bunch of wires like quite a lot that's copper this is wire so one two three four five six seven eight stacks that should do no actually I need nine one more thank you and I still have that weird ghost block I haven't figured out what it is yet All we need now is plastic. Now let me just check something. right we are still having a little bit to go now I don't want to make more hyper tubes but I do want to test one thing and that is um let's find the right menu there it is if I pop down one of these 
Actually, we'll pop one there. And we take one of you. There. Ah, see. That's gonna be an issue. It's too close. What I will do is actually take this one off. And we are going to take you. And put you there. I will then pop an entrance on. Can I then? No, I cannot. But just for the sake of the argument, take this one and pop that there. Are they aligned? Ah, no. Of course they're not. There we go. So if I pop you there. No, actually I don't even need to pop you there. I need that one. And I take you. There and you there. What's that gonna do to my travels? Ready? Let's try it. Going any faster? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it needs to be closer. Try that. Keep going the wrong way, that's annoying. This close. What happens? Maybe because of the corners. Well, it was just a quick test, I think. Let's do this. And you as well. Right. Well, that's that's a thing then. Um, we needed some computer stuff, and of course, since I selected a thing, I can't see anything else. So I have basically no choice. I need to wait for plastic before we can proceed.